Hey there, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and this is my Vired Autocomplete interview. Yeah, seriously, thanks so much guys for having me on. This is a, this is a dream come true. Okay, these are supposedly the easy ones. Okay, Bowtie Media, let's see. Who is Bowtie Media? Uh, Bowtie Media is me. Hi, my name is Dakota Huber, and uh, I am... Bowtie Media, sort of. I like to now say that Bowtie Media is like a company, and so I'm I'm from Bowtie Media, but I'm not necessarily Bowtie Media itself. But I'm I am, and I'm not Bowtie Media. What is Bowtie Media? Okay, Bowtie Media is a uh, media channel on YouTube where I talk about all things electronic music, and uh, I try to give some good commentary and uh, try to be funny sometimes. When is Bowtie Media? Okay, odd question, but I guess technically May of 2020 is when I started Bowtie Media, so I guess Bowtie Media when, I, it's also online forever, it's on YouTube as long as the internet exists, so, uh, all the time, and also May 2020. Where is Bowtied Media? Okay, we're just going through all the like basic questions here, I guess. Uh, technically, I'm from Canada. Uh, I'm up from British Columbia, Canada, in the uh, in the essentially vacation city of Canada. I'm essentially in the Hawaii of of, of Canada. The, the what Hawaii is to America is, is pretty much where I live um, for Canada, except it snows, so not really. And finally here is, why is Bowtie Media? Uh, uh, I guess I started it as a passion project. Uh, I started it in obviously May of 2020 in COVID and I wanted to do uh, something fun. I liked videos, I liked electronic music and I thought this was a perfect uh, match. I've always wanted to do this. Okay, up next we've got, what Bowtie Media? What Bowtie Media? What Bowtie Media do for fun? Um, I mean, in all honesty, I, I, I do this for fun. I, I make videos on YouTube. Bowtie Media is my sort of passion. But other than that, uh, I play lots of volleyball. I uh, play some baseball here and there. I watch baseball. I play some video games. I'm a big Pokemon fan. Also, League of Legends. Never play it. Uh, it will suck your soul. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I like to do fun. Uh, sports and eSports. What Bowtie Media biggest video? Uh, yeah, my biggest video is the Porter Robinson reaction I did to the Nurture album. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with reaction videos because they're sort of a necessary evil. I sort of need them to grow as a channel, uh, but they feel it feels like lazy content to me. I don't love doing it. Um, I like listening to new songs, and you guys uh, at least somewhat like to listen to me listen to new songs, but um, I sort of have to do reaction content to, to help the channel grow. But uh, yes, reaction videos, I think like my, my top 30 videos are all reaction videos. Like I put hours and hours into some of these like game show style stuff and uh, I can do a, a 20 minute video edited and uploaded and uh, you guys like it a lot. So that's what it is, I guess. What Bowtie Media favorite song? Okay, uh, I don't really think I have an individual favorite song. Obviously I have a list of rotating stuff that changes, but uh, I, I think I have a for sure top three, uh, and that is Grant's Constellations, uh, Digital Love by Daft Punk, and Forever Over by Eden would be my top three that uh, stay within, uh, at least my top five at least, uh, they stay in that top range for, uh, or they always have been I guess at some point. What Bowtie Media favorite Album. Okay, I'm sure you can guess based off my favorite songs, but uh, my favorite album of all time is actually Eden's uh, Vertigo, uh, and then probably Daft Punk Discovery, and then Daft Punk Random Access Memories is probably my uh, probably my top three. So lots of Eden, lots of Daft Punk. What Bowtie Media day job? Uh, yeah, so I actually work as a, uh, as the, my technical title is the technical video director uh, for my local church. Uh, we have about 1,500-ish uh, people that come by uh, online and in person in a weekend, probably a little bit more than that with online as well. But um, yeah, so I work as the video director, so anything live and or post-production video so, uh, is, is, is my job. So anything that goes from kids' videos down to messages and all that kind of stuff, uh, that's all uh, me, all my, my visual touch and everything. Two down! Okay, is Bowtied Media, well this will be interesting. Is Bowtied Media married? Yes, I am indeed married. Uh, I've been married for three and a half years at this point to my lovely, beautiful wife, uh, and she is my best friend, love of my life, and I love her very much. Is Bowtied Media funny? 
Uh, well, I guess that's up to your interpretation. I think humor is quite subjective. Uh, lots of times I try to be funny on the channel and it doesn't work. Uh, sometimes I'm funny because I'm stupid and uh, sometimes I'm trying not to be funny. So, no. Is Bowtie Media worth watching? Who is, who's Googling this? Who's, who's asking if it's worth watching? And again, that's, it's totally subjective. It's up to you. Um, if you like EDM content and you like hearing someone talk about EDM music for the most part, then yes, I'm worth watching. But if you don't like EDM uh, and you don't like my personality, I guess, um, no, I'm not worth watching. And if you're somewhere in between, I don't know, give it a shot. Is Bowtie Media famous? No. Is Bowtie Media a Oh, a cat. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's a bit of a story here. I did a stream where I once bought, uh, I had to buy an Amazon purchase and uh, chat wanted to buy cat ears. Uh, and so I own cat ears. I do not wear them on the regular and I do not ever plan to wear them. Uh, I am told to wear them a lot and uh, I, I don't want to. Woo! Okay, does Bowtide Media, does Bowtide Media like Elenium? Uh, yeah, so I understand why people are asking this because uh, I've historically really given bad reviews and ratings to Elenium songs as of late. Um, that's only because I like grew up with my EDM kind of uh, taste through Elenium, the, the early uh, LPs, the trilogy of, of albums, and I loved early Elenium, but I do not like modern Elenium. So I'm very critical of Elenium nowadays because I know it can be much better. I think he's just gone too commercial uh, and too derivative at this point. But um, I, uh, I would say I, I do like Elenium, uh, but I used to love Elenium, not so much nowadays. Does Bowtide Media gritty? I did twice for a stream. I do not do it on the regular, and it has become one of my most uh, reposted moments from any of my videos uh, that makes its ways through discords and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, online, I technically do continually gritty because you can just uh, use the gif of me, but uh, I do not do it on the regular. Isn't like gritty and dead anyways too nowadays? Like, do people still gritty even? I don't, I don't know. Does Bowtide Media no artists. Um, s sort of, yes, no. Uh, I mean, for the most part, you can just like talk to them. Like if you just reach out on socials and try to have a conversation, they're humans. You can sort of just ask them questions and, and they'll respond for the most part. Um, it's been my experience at least, but um, yeah, there's a couple artists I like know and talk like very semi-regularly too here and there, um, but really not a ton. I used to talk uh, to Coven a little bit, um, at least half of Coven. Uh, Cloud Cage, I talked to probably the most of anyone that's like a, a I would say more established artist. A um, little bit to Ace Aura in person. Uh, Skybreak helped me do a funny thing for a stream once. And so, uh, no, personally, eh, not really. Um, uh, yeah, not really. Does Bowtie Media make music. Uh, yeah, so this is actually where I can get the most criticism for, and rightfully so. Uh, no, I do not make music. Uh, I have never actually tried even making music. Um, I've been in a ton of band classes all throughout high school, so like, I understand music theory to some extent, uh, and I know how to play an instrument. I play the baritone sax, so like, I, that's not really useful or helpful nowadays, but um, I don't make my own music nowadays. And so uh, you can be critical about me because I, if I can't be critical about, or I shouldn't be critical about something I can't do, Sure, I get that, uh, totally understandable. And so if you wanna be that way, then I totally get that. But uh, no, I don't make music. I just talk about it a lot and really enjoy listening to it. Does Bowtie Media torture himself? Um, yeah, sort of sometimes. I can't remember why it started, but I did these, I called these chaos streams a while ago where I uh, would do something wrong since on a stream and I would then uh, just spin a wheel of death of sorts and I would eat really hot hot sauce. I would take shots. I would uh, post something on Twitter that the chat wanted me to. Um, I, I did a lot of dumb stuff. So uh, torture myself, um, yes, for your entertainment only. Okay, last one. Okay, so why Bowtie Media? Why Bowtie Media dog in video? 
Um, yeah, my, uh, I, I, I have a family dog who's 15 years old and I have a new pup with my wife, uh, who is about uh, eight months. And so, uh, they're both very emotionally dependent on humans and people. And so they like being around and with them. And so uh, if I'm home alone, that's the best time for me to make videos. And, uh, it's uh, also the time where the dogs need the most attention, um, with me only there. So, um, the dogs appear in the video, uh, quite a bit. Why Bowtie Media not uploading? Uh, yeah, if there's ever a streak of time where I'm not uploading videos, uh, it's because I'm lazy. Uh, that's that's genuinely it. It's because I really have bad discipline, and uh, I want to make videos, but I uh, don't because I'm I'm lazy. Uh, that's the best way to put it. And uh, if I don't upload for like a month, um, check up on me. I I might be dead. Why bow tie media not wearing bow tie? Um, yeah, this is a great question because I often don't wear bow ties in videos nowadays. Uh, and that's also for the same reason I am lazy. I just don't want to put on a dress shirt and a bow tie because I am lazy. That is genuinely the only reason. Um, I love the branding and the bow ties. I think it's really fun, but it's because I am lazy. Why bow tie media hates melodic dubstep. Okay. This kind of goes back to the Illenium thing. Uh, I don't, hate melodic dubstep. I just think it's so derivative nowadays. I just think it's the same old song over and over and over again, and no one's been doing anything different for like two to three years now. Um, and so I don't hate it. It just needs to change or die, honestly. I think the genre needs to change or die. And it's just, it's getting to a point now where I'm just actively frustrated with how boring I think a lot of it is. And finally, we've got why Bowtie Media called that? Oh, it's a great question. Um, so I was thinking of ideas for what I wanted for the channel name, and I wanted something that was easily brandable, something that you could change uh, color for and all the different stuff you could make in different uh, graphic design and all that kind of stuff that would uh, be easy recognizable. And I found a bow tie. And so I was like, oh, I was actually getting ready to get married around that time. And I was like, oh, I just bought bow ties for the groomsmen. And I was like, oh, I should be bow tie media. And so uh, specifically the why I did the bow tied is because bow tie media was taken by something, I I think in some capacity. So I was like bow tied. And then I was like, oh, that can kind of put a nice bow on everything. It, it's bow tied up or I don't know, but uh, that's why I'm bow tied media uh, is because I thought it was good, simple branding. And um, I thought it uh, worked well, but I guess you guys are the real judge of that. And uh, that's, uh, that's it.